Okay, class, now I'm going to show you how to cut a picture out of another picture so that you can use it later. You're going to be using, of course, the program called GIMP. Right now you can see this is the picture I'm going to want to edit. As you can see right now, it's in preview mode. You don't want to be in preview, you want to be in the actual GIMP program. So I'm going to go ahead and close the preview or quit it. Well, ugly picture, never mind. Okay, now open GIMP. And GIMP will start. Then I am going to open the file that I want to crop. I'm going to go to File, Open, because I need to get the picture that I need. And I'm going to look on my desktop, because that's where I kept my file. I'm looking for more, my medieval armor. I'm going to go to Open. And this is the picture I'm going to want to crop. I have four figures here. I only want one. So I'm going to get the scissors. This is your scissor icon, and I'm going to crop around this figure. So I'm going to go ahead and start by clicking on the mouse and picking key areas of the picture. As you notice, I'm not clicking right beside the other one. I'm letting the tool connect for me. So I will click here. And right here, if you notice that it went into the picture, I can get the line, hold the mouse, and drag it out a bit and it will automatically align itself and then I can continue clicking to go around the figure you don't have to be too precise but the more precise you are the cleaner the picture when you cut it out so as I go on here I will continue cutting the picture on these thin parts here always go for the tip because it'll get as close as it can to the whole picture that you need. I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit further. So it won't take forever to cut this picture out. Again, my toes are missing, so I'm going to bring it out a little bit. And I'm going to continue. Right there. If at any time you need to adjust the line between the node, you can always do it, no matter where you're at. Okay, tip right here, let me adjust right there, adjust <coughs> right here, and I'm going to click right there, right here, I need to stretch it out, it'll hug the actual picture. I think this is pretty good technology for the fact that I don't have to be constantly cutting to get it exact. It's a little bit complicated here, but very much doable. Okay, I'm coming down the arm, down to the fingers, going around, getting the wrist. Remember, always to the point to get exactly the areas that you need. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit faster because this is taking forever. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut the head off because I'm not going to need the head. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut around the area. Now, as I'm getting close to the end of where I started, I am going to be looking for the infinity sign over the scissors. Right now, as you can see, the scissors has a little plus sign on top. But as soon as I get to the node that I started with, it's going to change to two little circles. You can see those two little circles on top of the scissors when I go to the beginning of the node. When I click on that, it has completed my actual cut. Now I can click on the middle of the picture, the nodes disappear, and it's going to show me what it's going to cut off. After I do this, then I can now go to Edit, Cut, and now I can use what I have and place it wherever I need to place it on another picture. As you can see, I have some fingers here that it seem to have missed cutting. I can always go back and cut those pieces off and attach it to wherever it is I'm going to place them. That'll be, let's see, that should be it. And thank you very much.